Hello everyone and welcome to another Illustrator tutorial. My name is Marcus and I'm a designer and an animator based in London and today I'm going to share with you how to design this poster here. So let's go. First thing, I, I have made the colors here. If you want to use the same colors as I did, you can just take the names, the numbers of the colors here and use the same colors as me. So let's go back to Illustrator and I'm going to create a new document. I'm going to use a 1700 by 2400. This is like a poster resolution if you think this is a poster, but you can use any resolution for this exercise anyway. So let's just make it an RGB color and just press create. Perfect. So the first thing, let's get our text tool here and let's write something. I think I wrote shadow. 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 I think I wrote Shadow actually. Oh my god. Uh, sometimes my text tool in Illustrator. Let's just go back. Shadow. I don't know. I think I always add the N in the end of Shadow, but you don't need to. So probably that's the thing I showed you is wrong. Okay. It's not Shadow. Sorry. It's Shadow. <laughs> it was a typo in a poster. Never do that. And perfect. Write your words and now let's just select our text here and let's just find our favorite font. I'm gonna use the monument extend, I'm gonna use it as bold for now. And then I'm gonna make our type gray, light or light light gray. The reason I do this is because we're gonna make this like uh, using the 3D tools from Illustrator. And if you use like a black um, color or a dark color, you can really see the effects of the 3D. I'm just gonna make a copy here just to show you. I'm gonna leave this one like dark, something like this. And then next thing I wanna just create those lines and then go right click again and ungroup them. And let's select them. And then I'm just going to effects, 3D materials, 3D classic, and then extrude and bevel. See, you don't really see much of the 3D effect is happening there because everything is black and then, well, you can use it, you, then you, but I don't really, I really like to see my 3D shading happening. I'm going to delete this for now. So let's just select this uh, word here. Let's make it all caps, go to character, make it all caps. And because all caps always look nice and right click, right click and create dot lines, right click again and ungroup it. Let's select it. Let's go to Effects, 3D Materials, 3D Classic, Extrude and Bevel Classic. And here, let's just put it here. We're going to choose Isometric Left for now and just press OK. So now what we're going to do is actually select one, each letter and make a really nice composition. I'm going to make like, spread them a little bit like this. Something more like this will be all right. And try to be as creative as you want on this composition for sure. Great. And next we're going to do is actually select this, uh, this one, maybe this one as well. And maybe this, no, maybe, maybe this two, maybe this three here. Let's select all of them. And then let's go to appearance. You can actually find appearance in window and then appearance. And just going to click it. And now I'm going to just change the perspective on all of them. Isometric right this time. Perfect. So they're facing the other direction. And maybe this one, I'm going to change it to isometric top. Press OK. Perfect. So this way we have actually a nice variation of angles and also, and also positions. And we also have this nice composition, which is very dynamic, as you can see. Nice. Let's select all the letters and let's go to object and expand appearance. Perfect. And press, uh, we'd select all the letters and press D. This will turn your letters to outlined. And let's just make, play a little bit with scale now. Let's just scale this one a little bit up. This one as well. I like to make it like really different scales just for, make our composition a little bit more interesting. Share. So something like this and that W can be really big, maybe. Yeah, some sort of like this, maybe. I will just play a little bit more with this. Yeah, 
I really like it because it's really filling the frame and see, we still also have like some nice um, negative space. Although there is something between these three here, this, all of these letters here. Not sure if I'm happy with the space between them, but let's just keep changing. Maybe we'll push this one, this one to the middle. Maybe we'll change something. This one to the top. Well, stop when it feels nice. Don't need to do exactly like I'm doing. Maybe this one goes here. Perfect. Not perfect, but enough. Uh, done is better than perfect, isn't it? So nice. So now what I'm going to do, actually there is these lines on these letters. I'm going to connect all of these, creating one, one single shape. I'm going to just double click until I have, have it like this. I'm going to make this one one shape using the Pathfinder tool. And do the same thing here. So I want to leave this one, these two split because one will be the light part of the letter and the other one will be the shade part of the letter. So this, all of this will be shaded. So it's all right to, to clean it like this. This will be shaded as well. So it's all right to leave it like that. Let's do the same thing for the letter D. So this part here will be shaded. So we're just going to leave this connected. And this part here, we actually be light and I think not everything, I guess. Maybe this top part. I think everything will be light on this one. Let's just make that decision now. Then make it connected as well. And again, on the O, this will be all shaded inside. And here, I think it will be almost everything shaded as well. Cool. The only thing that happens on the letter O is actually you need to select these two shapes here. Actually, no, not today. That's just to make it see if it is all right. So normally it creates another shape, but it doesn't, it didn't do it on this one. So perfect. We're good to go. Cool. We have our letters in isometric and with a nice composition. Next thing, let's just get the colors that I share with you. Okay, I'm going to use the same colors that I used before. And we're just going to leave it here for now. I'm going to delete the, the white background. And using the rectangle tool, I'm going to just click it there on a the toolbar. I'm going to make a really nice rectangle. That will be like the shade, the shadow. Should not shed on like I wrote in my first past poster. I'm going to just design the, sh the, the shadow like this. I'm going to use the color from here. I'm going to duplicate this rectangle. I'm using Alt. If you select Alt, you just can drag stuff around. You can actually make a lot of copies, which is really cool. And I'm going to make this like this. Just make it. Like this, make it like as better as I can to imitate like what if the projection, the shadow projection will be like, this is like that very long shadow effect. You need to imagine where will, will it start and where it will finish. The same thing for the H here. Gonna leave it, actually gonna touch the A shadow, which is okay. Maybe we move the, the, the A now, actually. So I actually have some sort of a little bit more interaction. What actually this will be cool because then you can actually create like a line that makes like the A shape here a little bit um, shaded as well because of the H. Let's see what we do there. Let's just make a new copy for the D, select it and make a, a new copy here. Scale it to fit the size of the shadow. Just like this. I'm using the direct selection tool sometimes also, which is really cool. You can just select points. I don't know how new or experienced you are on Illustrator. So maybe I'm, you probably already know what I'm saying, but maybe you don't. So sometimes it's really hard actually to know the public, but I don't, I think like, even if you are an experienced user of Illustrator, there is always something to learn from other people's techniques. Because everyone does something different. They, they do the same thing in the end, but in a different way. And that's, that's a beautiful thing of this tool. There's actually, there's like multiple ways to make anything. Gonna make a shadow as well like this. 
and yeah, just making. I'm actually really thirsty right now, and I'm trying not to sip water while I'm recording because it's always a weird noise. And it's been really hot in London where I live, in the United Kingdom, and. Yeah, I don't know where you live. It's been really hot. Let me know in the comments. It's actually a nice way to under, to interact with the people viewing these tutorials. And yeah, and let me know where where you are, guys are from, guys and girls, and everyone watching. Really, it would be really nice. I try. To, I need to find a way to interact a little bit more with my public. And also, it's making this a little bit more fun for me because I really want to. I have something to say as well. Cool. So I'm just going to make this thing here. I'm gonna keep adjusting the composition a little bit actually. And perfect. Sorry, I'm actually moving a lot the artboard for some reason. It's because I've been a while since I've recorded a tutorial like this. Because I've been testing, I've been like scripted tutorials, which is like I script every single step and then I make a tutorial and the tutorial is like you make a poster in like a minute and a half but I just speak really fast every step. And I don't think I show much of my personality as well and like why I'm making these decisions. I'm just showing where to click and which value to input. There is no like value on, oh, this composition looks odd or the, com oh, I don't know. I think there is like, there is space for both type of tutorials for sure. <laughs> let's breathe. Okay, cool. Next, let's just make, what was the color? I oh, red background. So let's just make a background here. I'm going to make it using the rectangle tool. Let's just right click and arrange it and send to the back. And just make this. It's already looking really cool, I think, in my opinion. Let's just make the shaded parts. You're actually going to make them red as well. This one will be red. And this one too. And, and this one here will be red. It's, I don't know. I think I, I still learning. And also actually, I don't know when you are watching this. So probably this makes no sense when you're watching this, but I've not been posting as much on YouTube as I wish I would be because, well, I'm a freelancer and freelancers sometimes make the mistake of having way too much work. As, and as a consequence, something is left behind. And in my case was actually YouTube. I kind of left it a little bit behind more than I wanted to. And it made me really sad. And then I actually, I was talking with my brother, which is, who's also has a YouTube channel. It's like a, a vlogging channel, which is really cool, but it's in Portuguese. And if you speak Portuguese by any chance, just it's on my favorite channels on my, um, playlist, YouTube page, something like that. And it's really fun. Actually, I appear in a few vlogs and I, I think it's a really, really fun genre to play. Oh my God, something is like not right here. Oh, so when you apply color, it actually creates a new shape here, which I hate. Okay, let's just leave this triangle on the O here. Okay, something is not. Okay, so I'm keeping selecting this thing. I'm gonna just lock it. Why is this not not letting me to? No, no. I... Okay, <laughs> there's something odd happening with this. So, okay, I'm just gonna delete this. So when you apply color, you actually create a new shape. Looks like I'm gonna place other shapes. Oh, okay. I bought my brother. He he was telling me, oh, "What happened to your channel? Why why did you stop? Are you okay?" It was really nice because it's actually sort of like inspirational because he actually goes to the, through the same struggles of being like a content creator. Sometimes you're not in a mood, but well, I think it, things only happen when you take them seriously. You, when you have a job, you don't actually go, I'm not in the mood to go to my job today. <laughs> and you don't go, maybe sometimes you do that, but secretly you are just like saying you're not feeling well, but. And that's okay, but when you're actually trying to build something like this thing I'm trying to build, which is like a community and sharing my knowledge. And hopefully, I won't gonna lie, that the idea is hopefully this one day will be a source of income, and then I actually can 
do something else with my time, be like dedicate more of my time as being like an artist and but I was thinking maybe I need to build like some sources of like income and and YouTube was like a cool one, I think, because I actually will be able to share stuff like things I'd like and also you know make some extra cash with like the YouTube ads and whatever, whatever ways there is to make money on YouTube. And I'm sure I'm not going to make loads, but like, I I don't need loads anyway. So I think I will be all right, but that's why I'm doing this. I'm a capitalist in the end of the day. I don't know. I'm joking. No, it's just like a way to, to get all the dreams. It's like a, and one of the dreams was actually, maybe I actually should just do this and share my process and some techniques. What's happening here? Why can't I delete this? Okay. And share my my techniques and hopefully one day YouTube will like me and share my content with everyone in the world. So there is something, okay. There is something happening here. What? There is no... So the same thing happened in AS, it created a new shape when I applied the color, which is extremely annoying, as I don't know how, why it creates, it does that, but I just need to send this behind. And we're almost there anyway, so I'm going to leave you soon, you can go. Why did it create these shapes? I definitely have no idea. And then it's, they are really hard to delete, which is insane too. Anyway, I think this is it. Shed though, not shed on, like my first version. I think I'm going to use this one for the thumbnail. Looks better <laughs> and correct. And yeah, I was telling a story about my brother. So yeah, my brother like inspired me again to not quit and just like, you know, struggles are okay. And, but we need to go back. And it's really hard to come back. It's like come back running. It's just like you go for a run and then it gets so tired. And and well, thank you so much for for watching this today with me and be not watching with me, but like watching this and me talking. And thank you so much if you are, are a subscriber. And I would really appreciate if you could like this video. And if you're not a subscriber and you made it until the end, thank you so much. You especially because it's the first time you are here probably and i really appreciate if you hit the subscriber button and supported me on this journey and maybe one day i will do this full time and who knows dreaming right and yeah i think this is it i hope you enjoy this very long tutorial probably you probably can do this like in a third of the time actually did it but I really wanted to do something today and I did it. So yeah, <laughs> again, thank you so much for being here. Thank hit the subscribe button, like, share, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.